my name is Raquel and if you're a subby, thank you for returning. I really appreciate your support. Today I thought I would try out a new brand. They are a little bit more on the um, upper end of the spectrum, shall we say, when it comes to pricing and that brand is known as Marge Paris. I've never tried anything from their brand before but they did have a sale on which prompted me to have a little look. I've done a little bit of research and I understand that the owner of Marge, or sorry, the founder or one of the founders of Marge Paris is the sister of the founder of Sandro um, and they might be another brand that I sort of have a little look at um, in the future but if I was to describe the Marge website and their products and their clothes I would say it's very contemporary Parisian chic and I absolutely love that style. I don't really know whether it lends well to um, curves but we will definitely see in this video. If you guys have been following my channel for a while you probably will have heard me say you know of recent times you know I'm looking for more quality pieces. I do love you know some of the typical e-commerce high street retailers but I don't necessarily love the quality of their clothes. I find that when I do my you know wardrobe switch around between seasons I kind of like when I bring it back out the next year it just it just doesn't last. Um, so these pieces are a little bit more pricier but the quality of them is I'm sure you know a lot better than some of the retailers that you will have seen me sort of show you know, predominantly and frequently on this channel. That being said, I am still a bargain hunter, so I did actually pick up these items in the sale um, and they are now on their final markdown. I managed to grab them on the second markdown. Um, so yeah, without further ado, if you're new to my channel, by the way, hello, hi, I focus on fashion, beauty, little bit of lifestyle, definitely click that subscribe button if that's the kind of thing you're into. Also, I'm on my journey to 20K, so if you could help me on my journey, I'd greatly appreciate it. It's gonna be a little bit more of a chattier one because we really wanna get into it, honey, because the prices and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a try on, I don't know sizing, pricing, everything will be linked in the description box. Let's get into it. Okay, the first piece that I have to show you guys is this tweed dress. I personally love tweed pieces. I think they are absolutely timeless. Um, and when I think back to some of the tweed pieces that I've had in the past, um, you know, I might have bought them at quite a cheap price and sold them on. But the idea of having a really nice tweed dress that I can wear, um, you know, season in, season out, year in, year out is very appealing to me. Now, hmm, this at full price is £315. But as I mentioned, they're on the final markdown, which is 50% off, which is the price that I actually paid, which is £107.50. I picked this up in a UK 8. Yeah, they do their size in a UK 8. Um, I'm definitely a very full 8 at the moment due to quarantine, so we go and see. Okay, so here's what the tweed dress looks like on, as I mentioned, 157 quid. Which, to be honest, by the time I've bought four tweed pieces from the high street, um, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, I've done this, haven't I? Really, um, when you think about it in that respect. Um, the quality of the tweed is lovely because some people actually really cheat when it comes to tweed and the tweed is one dimensional and it's a print. This is an actual proper tweed. It's rough to touch, or not rough, but you know, coarse. It has the woven detail to it, like it's a proper tweed. I'll just come up close so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, it's woven. It's legit. Um, in terms of the sizing, as I said, I'm, a def I'm definitely a full eight at the moment. So as I sort of slim down, she says, after, you know, literally just doing a haul with a ton of snacks, um, I think that this would fit me a little bit it should skim my thighs a little nicer because they're a little juicy at the moment, which we don't mind at times, but anyway. Um, but then in terms of the top, I do think it has like a nice sort of waistband, which then makes the top a little bit baggier. I don't know if it's, a, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that because it does sort of bag a little bit there, but I definitely wouldn't be sizing down to a six in it, put it that way. Um, I would say it's a normal sort of UK eight, possibly a little bit smaller only a tad only a tad so these flaps up here are literally just that they're flaps they're not actual pockets they're not functional i love the gold detailing on the buttons the sleeves are a nice sort of rolled and they're also pinned which i think just makes it look a little bit more expensive i don't know how this is going to come across on camera i'm looking in the monitor um i don't know if it looks like 150 
quid's worth of tweed, but it certainly feels like 150 quid's worth of tweed. 300 and something pounds, no, 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 no. We know that I'm a savvy shopper. I want quality pieces at a good price. Um, so I would wait for the sale and I won't wait for the first round. I'll wait for the second round. Um, I'll still be savvy about it kind of thing. That's, that's the kind of mentality or the mindset of where I'm at at the moment. So you know what? I think it does come in nicely at the waist. I think I'm gonna rate this a good seven or eight out of 10. It hasn't gone down again in the sale and I think it's on the final markdown. So I don't think it's gonna go down again. I think 150 quid, I need to think about it, but it's definitely a key investment piece because like I said, I love tweed and I don't think tweed goes out of style. I, my favorite uh, season for fashion is autumn. I don't know if I've ever said this to you guys, but yeah, autumn is my favorite season for fashion. Also my birthday's in autumn as well. But for me, in the autumn months with my Stuart Weitzman boots and my Baker Boy ASOS hat, nobody could tell me anything, honestly. Yeah, I like this. I think I might keep this. I'm gonna move on to something else, which actually, I had a cheeky little look at this, but you know what? I'm not gonna try it on for you guys. I do apologize. What it is, is I picked it up in a UK eight as well. It's a 36. It's taffeta um, and it's cute, but it was really bloody short and it was definitely kind of tough for me to get into. So with all the hair and all the makeup, I don't wanna risk it. Um, I will give you the price and I will also pop it up on the screen so that you guys can see what it looks like on the website. I think if you're a little bit, um, if you're sans curve, then, oh my God, did you see what I did then? And it's a Parisian brand. Oh. Anyway, if you're sans curve, I think this would work really, really nice. Um, it's £119.50 and that's with 50% off. So at full price, it's £239. Um, it definitely looks super cute on the model, but on me, it didn't look super cute and it was super tight. So yeah, sadly I won't be able to try this on for you guys because I can just see it as a disaster waiting to happen and I need to return this because I want my money back. So that's the taffeta dress. I think you guys know that I really, I mean, I have many different styles. I don't sort of like just stick to one because life's limiting enough. Live your life, hun. You do you, hun. So um, I picked up this kind of like sporty, chic little number. Now this is what the dress looks like. It's a really lovely fabric. It's nice and stretchy. It has ring pull detail at the back for you to get in and out with the zip. I picked this up in a eight, which is a 36 in um, European sizing. So yeah, let me throw this on and I'll show you guys what this looks like once it's on. This dress is actually known as the Knit Sporty Couture Dress, which is literally the perfect name for it. This actually went down to 60% off. At full price, it's £269. And at the current price with the 60% off, it's £107.60. Now, it is a really lovely material. It's a lovely, stretchy fabric. Um, and what I like about it is it does come in nicely at the waist. Um, and then it does jut out nicely into like a sort of lampshade-y, detail-y effect. Now you guys, I'm just gonna stand on my tiptoes so you can see it's literally just um, beneath the frame in terms of length and I'm five foot six and a half. I'll turn around and show you guys the back. It has really nice thick straps, which I think are keeping me in nicely. The ring pull detail. Um, and then I think what helps to maintain that lampshade effect with the bottom part is the um, elasticated waist part here, which does kind of bring you in. If you are a little bit um, bigger on the chest area, it is a little bit revealing. I mean, you can kind of pull it up, but it just felt a little bit more comfortable to me um, here where it's at. Um, but I don't think it looked like that on the model at all. No, it didn't look like that on the model at all. Um, so yeah, this is actually, it's a cute dress. I think at 107 pounds, it's, I think that's a good price because I think the material is really, really nice. Like it's a nice thick material. You'll have to excuse me, it was sitting in the packaging so it's a little bit crushed in the middle here. I'm actually just gonna look at it and think how much wear I would get out of it. And whilst I do love this kind of style because I'm not really picky when it comes to style, I don't know how often I would wear it. But is it a really cute little sort of spring summer piece that I would wear, you know, again and again, I do think so. Um, just because I like that it's got these thick straps and there's like a little bit of ventilation, do you know what I mean? I'm, I know I'm always talking about ventilation, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I think even still with the 60 per, 60 per, 
60%. I don't know whether I would 100% keep it, but I would definitely rate it highly again. I'd rate it like a seven out of 10, just because it's got some really nice detailing on it. Like I'll come up close and show you. I apologize because it's super sunny in here, but it's cloudy. So it keeps going in and out and in and out. Um, so yeah, it's got like a really nice kind of orangey detailing to it as well, which I don't know if it's showing on camera, but you guys would have seen it in the web web page pick. I'm gonna think about this one, but in terms of the tweed, I love, I love, per I just love tweed. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next item. This next item is known as the fitted checked mini dress. It's 290 pounds at full price. It's 50% off, which makes it 145 pounds. I picked it up in a 36, which is a eight or an eight rather. Um, and unfortunately it's too small for me, but I'm still obviously just gonna review it for you guys right quick. Um, it doesn't have any stretch to it. If it had a little bit of stretch to it, I might've been able, I might have been able to push me like a little bit, but it doesn't have too much. So I would say if you're in between sizes or like a fuller, fuller size eight or a fuller size 10, whatever, like whatever, I would say to size up just to give you the room, particularly if you've got a little bit of a chest or bust area um, because you do get that gapping here. So yeah, sadly it's a bit too small for me. It's a really cute dress though. I think again, as I said, autumn is my favorite season. And I think when I'm looking at some of these pieces, um, it's, I don't know, I just, I like a certain aesthetic and a certain look in autumn and that look is expensive. I like to look just, that's just my, that's just my season. I love it. Um, and so if I am to invest in, in more investment pieces, um, I definitely want to do with pieces that I can wear throughout autumn and stuff like that. Although I will say this could be a little bit of a summer piece because it is mini in length, it is short sleeved. Um, but yeah, this is just really too small for me. So definitely would need to size up. Um, I do like the check print on it. I'll come close and show you guys. The check print is quite nice. I'll also just turn around and show you guys the back. It is clinging to me for dear life. I do think if you have a certain figure, um, that this would be a really good timeless piece because the quality feels quite nice. But yeah, it's too small. And I feel hitch up now. So let me try on the last, I think we've only got one more. We have this dress and I love this kind of style. I feel like it's a fresh, clean look, um, but with a sporty kind of edge, a sporty kind of vibe to it. So this is known as the knit polo dress. At full price, it's 209 quid, currently 40% off. So it's 125 pounds and 40 pence. Something is itching me in this. Oh, it's the label, obviously. The label's kind of high, that's different. It's a really lovely, stretchy, ribbed material. You guys know I absolutely love ribbed material dresses, um, dresses particularly the skirts as well. I have found with some ribbed material, it just doesn't last that long at all. Like it gets bobbly, it starts to get a little bit thin, you sort of pull it and it looks a bit see-through. Now obviously with something like this, only time would tell. I'm only just doing my first impressions, but it definitely feels like a really good quality, soft ribbed fabric. It almost feels, it's, it's almost like bouncy in a way, if that makes sense. Like it just feels such, like such a nice kind of fabric. These buttons are actually popper buttons. So just depending on how you wanted to do them up, you could leave a couple undone. Um, in terms of styling, I think this would look really nice dressed up or dressed down. If you wanted to dress it down, I think you could wear it with a nice pair of white trainers, like, you know, sleek white trainers, maybe with a pair of socks. Um, and then if you wanted to dress it up, I think it would look really, really nice with um, not over, well, it, I think it would work with over the knees, but I also think it would work really, really nicely with a knee high. Um, I've got a knee high. I've got a nice sort of brown snake skin knee high. Um, possibly would work better with just a plain knee high, but anyway. So yeah, really, really cute. These aren't pockets up here. They're just little tabs again. I don't know if I've shown you the back, but I'll just turn around and show you the back. It's definitely very figure hugging. The thing that I will say about this is there's like a little attention to detail that maybe is not picking up on the camera. But just for instance here, the ribbing is going down on the front of the dress, it's going straight down on the arms as well. But when you turn to the side, that ribbing then sort of veers out and changes shape, like from here. So it like veers out, which just gives it another little dimension. And I just think it looks, 
I don't know, I just, I, something about it just adds to it. I like the fact that although it's bodycon, like for me, obviously I'm curvy, so it still clings to curves and it still like, you know, looks a little bit sexier because I'm like, you know, I've got breast and batty and thigh. Um, but because of this kind of V detail, it doesn't, you know, cling all the way around. It does still have a little bit of a skater feel. And um, I'm hoping, as I said, as I slim down a bit, the skater feel is a little bit more freer in movement. Um, but this for me, I like this style. Um, so I think, yeah, this, well, how much did I say? I'm getting carried away there. 125, 125 is still kind of expensive. They also had this in a separate, so like they had a top and a skirt, so if you wanted to buy it as a co-ord, you could. And that's what caught my eye first, but then you guys know I'm a dress girl, so yeah, I need to think about this at 125. I do need to have a little thing. But yeah, that is it for this haul. Let me, let me wrap up and give you guys my final little assessment. So that completes my Marge Paris, and I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think it's Marge. Yeah, that completes my review. I think, in terms of items that I'm 100% keeping, that tweed is a 100% keeper for me, just because even at a more higher price point, I know tweed is something that I love, that I reach for every single autumn, winter. It's one of my fave, fave, fave. Like, I can wear that with my over-the-knee boots. I could wear it with little pumps with a pair of tights. I will get my use out of that tweed piece. I 100% know that. This would be another little one that I need to have a little think about. The fitted dress was too small, the checked one, and then the sporty sort of scuba peplum or frill lampshade type skirt dress. Um, I don't know how much use I'd get out of it to pay that much money. So for me right now, the winners, even though I loved all of the items to be fair, but I'm just trying to be a little bit more shrewd with my thinking and my spending of money because I just had to spend so much money on my car insurance. Um, but anyway, it was for a renewal. Uh, anyway, these two, this and this would be, you know, my top top. This one I'm going to think about because like I said, car insurance just literally just rip me off. I definitely think, generally speaking, with my first impressions of the brand, that their quality definitely warrants that increase in price. Now, would I run to pay like full, full price? No, just because I'm not caked like that. But would I shop savvy and wait for the sale and pick up a few quality key investment pieces at 50% off? 100%. Now, I know that not everybody's going to agree with me. It depends what stage of life you're at I guess a lot of people are going to say 150 quid for a tweed dress is way too much money um and do you know what I do think that you can make cheaper less quality items I still think you can wear them I still think you can rock them I still think you can you know style them in a way that they look more expensive than what they are but will they like sort of stand the test of time will you you know wear it year in year out will it deteriorate greatly with each wash probably again it's just about sort of like looking at where you're at in life like what what do you like to spend your money on where where is your head at when it comes to money and how you spend it for me i know that i personally spend a lot more than average on clothes and I love fashion so that for me is my advice but then you know do I spend a lot of money on like cigarettes no because I don't smoke do I spend a lot of money in other areas no I probably have to cut my cloth um, accordingly to cater to my fashion addiction let's just keep it blunt and real I'm definitely of the mindset where I want to start investing in just a couple key pieces but that's not to say that your cheaper high street quality stuff can't look good I do still think that it can look good and I you know I you guys watch my channel you'll see that I more often than not do the high street retailers so yeah, just a little food for thought, really. Um, let me know what your favourites were, actually. And have you guys shopped on Marge Paris or have you guys shopped on Sandro? There's another little Parisian brand that I'm also looking at and I'm thinking about reviewing them next. So if you guys have any sort of like higher priced luxe uh, brands, I would say this is kind of like affordable luxury. I would say. So if you guys have any of those brands that you want me to check out and review, drop a comment and let me know which ones you want me to review. Um, but yeah, I think that is it from me. That is such a rambly outro, but yeah, it is a bit more of a review. So um, 
if you want, yeah, it's nice. Um, it's probably not the right channel for you. Those are my thoughts. I like these pieces. I like this brand. I'll definitely have them on my radar going forward 100%. Um, so yeah, that is it from me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. My Instagram is Raquel.Saul. I'll pop it on the screen. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 20K. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.